announce three separate cases highlighting the ongoing threat posed by Chinese economic espionage and research theft in the United States. First, the arrest today of a Harvard University professor for lying about his participation in a Chinese foreign recruitment program. Second, this morning we have unsealed a separate indictment of a Chinese national working as a scientific researcher at Boston University who failed to mention on her visa application that she is also a lieutenant with the People's Liberation Army. Finally, this office has indicted another Chinese national for trying to smuggle vials of biological material out of the United States to China and lying about it to federal investigators. That defendant, whose entry to the United States had been sponsored by Harvard University, was a cancer researcher at a lab at the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Harvard scientist is among three people charged with lying about their affiliation with China. The U.S. attorney announced charges against Dr. Charles Lieber and two Chinese nationals today. Now, federal authorities say that Lieber, the chairman of Harvard's chemistry department, was being paid by a Chinese university while he bidded on contracts with the U.S. government. It appears that China paid Lieber hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years for his involvement with the Chinese entities and for his work on research for Chinese gain. Dr. Charles Lieber allegedly lied to Harvard about his ties to China to secure millions of dollars in federal grants. China is also using what we call non-traditional collectors, such as professors, researchers. And that's the case for two Chinese nationals also indicted today. Yang Qingzi is accused of lying about a role as lieutenant of the Chinese army to conduct research for Boston University last year. A border search of her electronic devices showed that Ye had compiled information for the People's Liberation Army about two U.S. residents with expertise in robotics and computer science. And Zhao Song Jung was arrested at Logan Airport in December, trying to smuggle 21 vials of research to China, work he had been doing at Beth Israel Deaconess Center. This is not an accident or a coincidence. This is a small sample of China's ongoing campaign to siphon off. American technology and know-how for Chinese gain.